A PCV, or PAT cell volume, using the hematocrit method, is used to make a rapid assessment of the number of circulating red blood cells. It is safe practice when handling blood to always wear protective gloves. To counteract the fact that blood cells will naturally separate into layers, the EDTA blood sample is adequately mixed by inverting the tube at least 10 times. Holding the blood sample at an angle of about 45 degrees, insert a capillary tube and allow the blood to be drawn up via capillary action to about three quarters full before carefully placing your index finger over the end in order to remove from the blood sample. Wipe the outside of the capillary tube with a clean tissue to remove any excess blood. Ensuring your finger is still over the end of the capillary tube, push the bottom of the capillary tube into a plasticine sealant at a 90 degree angle. This should form a plug at this end. To place the sample into a microhematocrit centrifuge, the plugged capillary tube should be inserted into one of the provided grooves, ensuring the plugged end is facing out from the centre of the machine. In order to balance the centrifuge, place another capillary tube in the groove directly opposite your sample. It is of vital importance that the plate is correctly screwed down to prevent capillary tubes loosening from the grooves and smashing within the machine. The setting for the microhematocrit centrifuge will differ depending on the centrifuge model. They should be set to spin at either 10,000 reps per minute for approximately 5 minutes or on fast for approximately 5 minutes. When removed, the sample will be in three layers. The red blood cell layer, the white blood cell layer known as the buffy coat and the plasma layer. The spun capillary tube should be placed in the groove of the microhematocrit reader with the plugged end of the sample towards the x-axis. The bottom of the red blood cells should be placed at the 0% line. The top of the plasma in the sample should be lined up with the top of the black window, or the 100% line. Move the white line until it transects the top level of the red blood cells. This correlates to the packed cell volume as a percentage of the total sample.